Hi friends. I'm Sophie. We are going to see about different 5 monkey species living in this world on this video. Every monkey that comes in this will have a very beautiful and different look. I first spoke about 5 types of monkeys in another video. If you want to watch that video, its link is on my description list. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Mandrill. The mandrill is a primate of the Old World monkey family. It is one of two species assigned to the genus Mandrillus, along with the drill. Both the mandrill and the drill were once classified as baboons in the genus Papio, but they now have their own genus, Mandrillus. Although they look superficially like baboons, they are more closely related to Chercosebus mangabes. Mandrills are found in southern Cameroon, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, and Congo. Mandrills mostly live in tropical rainforest and in very large groups. Mandrills have an omnivorous diet consisting mostly of fruits and insects. Their mating season peaks in July to September, with a corresponding birth peak in December to April. The mandrill has an olive green or dark grey pelage with yellow and black bands and a white belly. Its hairless face has an elongated muzzle with distinctive characteristics, such as a red stripe down the middle and protruding blue ridges on the sides. It also has red nostrils and lips, a yellow beard and white tufts. The areas around the genitals and the anus are multicolored, being red, pink, blue, scarlet, and purple. They also have pale pinkish eel callosities. The coloration of the animal is more pronounced in dominant adult males. Both sexes have chest glands, which are used in olfactory communication. These, too, are more prominent in dominant adult males. Males also have longer canines than females, which can be up to 6.35 cm and 1.0 cm, respectively. Males typically weigh 19-37 kg, with an average mass of 32.3 kg. Females weigh roughly half as much as the male, at 10-15 kg and an average of 12.4 kg. Exceptionally large males can weigh up to 54 kg, with unconfirmed reports of outsized mandrills weighing 60 kg per the Guinness Book of World Records. Debraza's monkey. Debraza's monkey is an old world monkey endemic to the riverine and swamp forests of Central Africa. The largest species in the Gunan family, it is one of the most widespread arboreal African primates. Aside from size, it can be differentiated from other Chircopithecus monkeys by its orange diadem and white beard. Due to its cryptic nature, the species is not well documented in all of its habitats, but has shown unique traits such as pair bonding and aggressive behavior towards other Ghanans. The Debrazes monkey is the most sexually dimorphic species of Ghanan. Males weigh around 7 kg, while females weigh around 4 kg. Adults have grey agouti fur with a reddish-brown back, black limbs and tail, and a white rump. Both sexes have cheek pouches they use to carry food while they forage. Males have a distinct blue scrotum, while females have a red perianal region and visible nipples. Juveniles lack the darker colors on the extremities that is characteristic of adults, but retain the white stripes and red rump, while infants are a uniform brown agouti with only a small beard. Proboscis monkey the proboscis monkey or long-nosed monkey, known as the Bikantan in Indonesia, is an arboreal old-world monkey with an unusually large nose, a reddish-brown skin color and a long tail. It is endemic to the Southeast Asian island of Borneo and is found mostly in mangrove forests and on the coastal areas of the island. The proboscis monkey is a large species, being one of the largest monkey species native to Asia. Only the Tibetan macaque and a few of the grey langurs can rival its size. Sexual dimorphism is pronounced in the species. 
Males have a head body length of 66 to 76.2 centimeters and typically weigh 16 to 22.5 kilograms, with a maximum known weight of 30 kilograms. Females measure 53.3 to 62 centimeters in head and body length and weigh 7 to 12 kilograms, with a maximum known mass of 15 kilograms. Further adding to the dimorphism is the large nose or proboscis of the male, which can exceed 10.2 cm in length, and hangs lower than the mouth. Theories for the extensive length of their nose suggest it may be sexual selection by the females, who prefer louder vocalizations, with the size of the nose increasing the volume of the call. Emperor Tamarin the Emperor Tamarin is a species of Tamarin allegedly named for its resemblance to the German Emperor Wilhelm II. It lives in the southwest Amazon basin, in East Peru, North Bolivia and in the West Brazilian states of Acre and Amazonas. The fur of the Emperor Tamarin is predominantly grey-colored, with yellowish speckles on its chest. The hands and feet are black and the tail is brown. Outstanding is its long, white beard, which extends to both sides beyond the shoulders. The animal reaches a length of 23 to 26 centimeters, plus a 35 to 41.5 centimeters long tail. It weighs approximately 500 grams. There are usually two types. There are Black Chinned Emperor Tamarin. There are claws on each of the animal's toes and fingers, aside from its big toe which has a nail. While it has a definitive long mustache, it also has almost inconspicuous white hairs on its chin. Visually, however, the Seguinus Imperator has a black chin. The hair on its chest and belly are a mixture of red, orange, and white hairs. On its back, the fur is dark brown. The inner side of its arms and legs are an orange-like color. Bearded Emperor Tamarin Seguinus Imperator Subrisi sends, the bearded Emperor Tamarin, typically has the same biological structure clarification needed as S Imperator Imperator. However, its main differences lie in the variation of color on its chest, belly, and arms. Also, in addition to its long white mustache, this subspecies has a large white-haired beard, unlike S Imperator Imperator, which merely has faint black whiskers upon its chin. G's Golden Langur. G's Golden Langur, also known as simply the Golden Langur, is an old world monkey found in a small region of western Assam, India and in the neighboring foothills of the Black Mountains of Bhutan. The coat of the adult Golden Langur ranges from cream to golden. On its flanks and chest the hairs are darker and often rust colored. The coats of the juveniles and females are lighter, silvery white to light buff. The Golden Langur has a black face and a very long tail measuring up to 50 cm in length. It has been noted that their fur changes colors according to the seasons. For the most part, the Langur is confined to high trees where its long tail serves as a balancer when it leaps across branches. During the rainy season it obtains water from dew and rain-drenched leaves. Its diet is herbivorous, consisting of ripe and unripe fruits, mature and young leaves, seeds, buds and flowers. If you need more information about this, we have our website link in the description. By click this link you will be able to get the required information. If you like the video please subscribe and like, share. Ok bye. Thank you.